that is really most resonant to us, and it's, and it's the way that we've been most consistently engaged, is in the high holiday services, because those are really the pinnacle for, for our family, for a lot of Jews, I guess, of the, um, of the Jewish year. And I really experience it as a, a true communal coming together and wrestling with ideas and reflecting on things. And it, it, it often feels, you know, very spiritual, which is, which is what I, I guess why I'm there. I kind of realized at a certain point, hey, that is why I'm here. I'm here for a spiritual experience and, and I have one. I didn't grow up in a religious family. I never went to synagogue my entire life. So really my first synagogue experiences have been at the Danforth Jewish Circle. So a lot of learning. And in that way, the fact that we're a community that is so um, good at kind of educating and explaining, partly because we have so many non-Jews in our community, has been very helpful for me as a kind of secular Jew, because it's allowed me a way in. So we often think about that learning as helpful for non-Jews, but I think there are many of us in the community who grew up in really quite secular environments. So coming to High Holidays for me is, you know, absolutely pleasurable. And for me personally, it has been an extraordinary thing to have Rabbi Miriam uh, as our spiritual leader. It has it has changed my relationship to the community in, in ways that I'm totally surprised by and, and delighted by, really, that I really feel that her leadership brings a, a depth and resonance and spirit opportunities for spiritual experience that wasn't there before and a consistency. I love being part of the DJC. I think many modern secular adults in the diaspora struggle with faith and spirituality and Judaism. And I think the DJC strikes the perfect balance for us because of the strong component of a more um, inclusive and holistic uh, weaving of Judaism into one's personal um, philosophy and way of life, that everybody is welcome. This is unique. This is special. If it wasn't for the DJC, I very much doubt that I would be Jewish. I very much doubt that my family would be um, so uh, completely and wholeheartedly committed to, um, to a Jewish life. Um, to uh, Jewish values, to, um, to a Jewish way of seeing and being part of the world. Um, I think a big part of that is really the leadership of Rabbi Miriam, um, who for me is just so much the, the, the spiritual, but also just a very physical, um, uh, heart and foundation of the DJC. She's very welcoming and interested and smart and uh, capable, but also um, uh, she has her own views on things as well. Like it's, it is not, um, she's not neutral on questions. She has opinions or she has, uh, uh, which is great. Like it's it shows, I think, leadership uh, in a way that a, I think at least a rabbi should be uh, in the community. While at the same time, welcome, you know, having uh, knowledge and uh, information and uh, perspectives on that, while also being welcoming of other perspectives. So, and you know, I actually I think she's great, just wonderful. And the the way the rabbi uh, infuses mindfulness um, meditation and into religious spirituality for the community really helps me see that I can make um, my own personal and family spirituality fit well with what's comfortable and what works for us and what's meaningful and accessible for us. For me, in terms of the opportunity to learn from her and to have a set of um, guidelines and ideas and principles to to respond to and to think about and she is so gifted and skilled at engaging those kind of conversations and I um, it's just powerful to, for me to know that I have a rabbi to go to if I need one I want my children to grow up to get to know her 
um, and to um, and for her to be a model in their lives. <laughs>